we return to the adventures of Conan Ironside with his multitude, his, his army of sons, and his army of lovers as well. Wow, that is a ridiculous amount. My god. Yesterday, we had, uh, well, we fulfilled one of the challenges. Didn't we? Which we do? Well, that's it. We got the gloves come off. Number of sons alive, nine. You needed five to get the gold achievement on that one. So that was a little bit, uh, that was a little bit flexible. We also had a son who was a bear, who has bear culture. I've tried to educate our sons in, in the bear ways. I want to play as the bear, even though he's absolute shit. It would be beneficial to, to me and my interest to do that. Prin Princess of the Byzantine Revolt. Princess of the Byzantine Revolt. Who, who could be Princess of the Holy Roman Empire? Say no more. Say no more, because we're a king. We're going to marry our bear son off to the Holy Roman Emperor's daughter for the world's greatest non-aggression pact. Then, we've got him educating two of our other sons in heritage, so he'll hopefully teach those guys to be bears. That way, even if we don't get to play as our bear son, we can still potentially play as a bear child. So this kid is the Tannis, so we should really throw him at the bear child instead. So yesterday, it did say that he was our heir, but because he's the oldest and the Tanistry laws hadn't updated. So I was thinking we could always just flip over to primogeniture, um, which is really not a problem. Uh, has ruled for 10 years. I mean, our guy's only, what, he's only 48. So we've got to live to 58. That's, that's relatively easy to do. Then we need legalism level three to be able to pass the uh, late administration is legal. Yeah, it is. So late administration, then we can just flip to primogeniture as long as Vassal doesn't have a negative opinion of us. Quite easy to do. There's a couple of ways we can pull that off as well. So the first thing I've got is our spy master in Constantinople studying tech. Late feudal administration would just be good to get regardless of whether or not we actually want to go for primo. Um, along with that, let's see the round prosper because right now we're trying to fabricate a claim on Ireland, which is taking a bloody long time. Then we'll also flip ourselves over to the scholarship focus because that's basically guaranteed... Basically just guaranteed uh, tech points, right? Now, we're still part of the Benedictine Order. I think that's kind of necessary to keep ourselves nice and happy and good and, and just and nice and good within the, within the eyes of our peers and whatever else. Actually, our realm's doing absolutely fine. Um, our wife hates us because we've had a thousand other lovers. So we'll swap our wife out for one of our lovers, which I think is absolutely right on brand right now. Um, that one doesn't discover anything. That's literally just an economy spread, right? That one's terrible. At least with the other one, you find like a great philosopher, or with the martial tech, you find like a great general, or whatever it is. Um, that's it. Military secrets revealed. That one's crap. So instead, we're going to have you uh, collecting taxes. I think that's fine. Try and get that special tithe, plus the guaranteed gold as well, because we are trying to fabricate this claim, don't forget. So that will be necessary to pay for eventually. I would rather, I think, give this out to the person who likes me the most and guarantee that we've got ourselves a nice vassal. In fact, we, I mean, either of those guys is fine, right? Um, I'm going to give it to this guy. Give him the Duchy of uh, Pentor. That way he'll... It's, it's one less vassal to worry about, basically, right? There we go. That's fine. But problem solved. So the King Conan of the Kingdom of Brittany. I should be glad to recognize your divine right to rule as soon as you prove your devotion to Catholic faith. Uh, he wants us to depose an anti-pope under the Kaiser. Are you a fucking nut job? What are you talking about? We've got 1,200 men. He's got 21,000. Yeah, we'll fight the HRE, a guy we just betrothed off our firstborn son to. Obviously not to him personally. That would be a very strange diplomatic problem. Um, no, get the hell out of here. I'm not going to ask the Pope to... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask the Pope to do that again. He's, he's, uh, he's absolutely insane. Do you want to get a favor from Manigold? No, I don't really care about you. Sorry, pal. Right, let's get ourselves a better coronation then without the Pope. Um, when have we got to try again? Try again next year. We'd always just try it again with the Pope and see if he's all right with it. Or we could kind of, uh, and maybe he'll offer, he'll ask for something else, gold, whatever. Um, or we could just go for a high-ranking priest and just at least get crowned, because that will help with something. Let's also start with our observatory. Well, it's only 25 gold. Why is it only 25 gold? It's only 50 gold. It's one of the many mods we play, huh? And they've also got 61.5 gold to compose a book. That's definitely worth it. Let's go for... Um, let's go for the intricacies of relationships. Our guy knows the ins and outs of many women sorry relationships so i feel like that is a pretty safe book for him to write and our vassals absolutely adore us we're a well-loved man we've got those duchies they're the same crest wow um we could give away the duchy of uh duchy of Brittany. isn't that not quite significant though oh de jour is not too bad but i don't want to give it all to one guy that'll make him incredibly powerful yeah, we'll hold on to that. A, a guy holding two provinces is absolutely fine. That's not a big deal. But a guy holding four would make him the most powerful character in the realm besides us. Um, actually, more powerful, especially if he goes to war, because we've only got the single county of our own. I do need to revoke some tiles a little bit. Maybe we'll try and work on that as well today. Try and get our domain back up in order. First observations. Can you observe primogeniture succession? That'd be kind of nice. All right. Any priest will do. I'll try the Pope once more. 
Yeah, $500 it is. Uh, $100 it is for that. Want some money from the Jewish moneylenders, I guess. And then expel them. Classic CK2 Wombo combo. Sorry, it's for the Pope. Look at that. Perfect. Um, we'll say a private ceremony. Oh, God. This is just a feast, isn't it? Oh, this is going to get expensive. Oh, God. Let's be careful. Guarantee lose stressed. Yeah, we can at least get that out. The time of my coronation draws near. In a few more days, I'm crowned king before God and all of my subjects. It will never be soon enough. Bernard wants to join our court. Uh, he's actually not bad at all, is he? He's actually quite good. 28 learning. You are welcome, Bernard. Join me, my friend. Court chaplain. Get yeeted. We could also put Alan the Bear. I love the fact that he's called Alan the Bear. That's incredible. Um, hunting apostates, I still think, is is, a, is an alright idea. 90% chance of actually finding apostate and 0.84 piety. We could always go with research cultural tech. What are we after right now? It's economy advances, isn't it? Oh, no, it is bloody cultural tech. 12% chance of finding a great philosopher that's just flat tech points. I'm going to go for it. It's worth it for the primogeniture. Keep listening. Oh, right. So we've got one intrigue or one learning. I think we'll go for the intrigue, seeing as we're already quite a, quite a powerful intrigue-related character. Very good. So let's also focus on getting another plot against the House of Normandy, seeing as that's another one of our goals, of course. Um, who's currently in charge up here? Cecilia of Normandy. What's the chance to kill you? 44%. Oh, yikes. That's going to take a while. Um, hey, you got any more of them family members? Constance of Normandy. Uh, 70% on her. 80% on her. Okay, that's a tempting one. Uh, you got any more of those... Hey, you got any more of those Normans? Oh, shit. <laughs> the well doth run dry. Oh, there's plenty here. Here we go. 204%. A naughty boy through and through. Kill him dead. Down to the stars move, or is there something strange out there? Is there something strange out there? Gives us more tech points. Also gives us a chance at Lunatic, which will give us access to some other nice stuff. Necronomicon means that we will lose piety, and if we don't have much... Well, actually, it's minus four piety, so we'll start going to negative piety. At that point, we won't be able to form titles, so if we do eventually get a bloody claim on Ireland, which seems to be taking the best part of forever... Yikes, I want to get to it before Norway gets to it as well. Oh, God. Well, let's just hope one of those claims come through quickly, huh? I'm going to go for, is there something strange out there? Because I think the Necronomicon in this situation, to get the better point points, is better. Should we just break up with one of them, rather than going for the... Rather than going for the stressed. I think that's probably better. Let's break up with her then. Goodbye. This guy wants to buy the Duchy of Brittany. And we owe him a favor? No. No, we're all right. I'd rather just let the 54 gold. My God, even though we're in debt, the plotters are still on board with our plot. It's quite nice. We could buy some books. Perhaps even read some game. 30 prestige. 20% chance of one learning. Nah, we're all right. Oh, there we go. Boom. There's another one down. And rank of bronze. Not good enough. I'm going for golden, obviously, all of them for the rest of the series. That sh I should probably just say that now and get it out of the way. All right, next one, please. Give me another Denormandy. Can I just search Denormandy in the carrots finder and it'll bring them all up? Uh, more than likely. Denormandy. Wow, look at that. We can invite her to court. Well, that'll make her easier to wipe out. Join me. Um, oh, this one as well. <laughs> you fools. Um, invite to court. Join me. Okay, then we'll start with the obvious. So we'll go through here. 149%. My god, this seems like a fairly easy achievement as well. And their kids have come to our court too. Oh, wow. Comforted by lover. Diplomacy and health again. This is this is too strong. Call of the wilds for a reason. There's potentially another one dead as well. Nice. There's another one down. Thank you very much. Who's next on my list? Uh, What about this tiny child in my court? 364% plot power. What the hell? I better check... Just double check quickly here. Yeah, we're still good. We're still achievements in Iron Man mode enabled. I just wanted to double check because sometimes if Steam goes down sort of mid-playthrough or as the game's loading or something like that, it can stop you getting achievements, making this whole thing kind of a bit of a moot point, really. 30% chance of getting diligent. Oh, he's done it. This man, you are incredible. You are an incredible character. Uh, Go to... Yeah, get out of here. Take the 75 prestige. You want a great philosopher. It's like clockwork. It's actually like everything's just lining up together. Now all we need is... Oh, that's for 10 gold. I'm not a greedy man. Hey, thank you. Boom. There's another one down as well. World is too cruel for children. That is the silver award done. Show me who else is the Denormandies in my court. Those are the safer ones to take out. Uh, what about like your parents? Siblings. This is this is great. How is this preemptive, by the way? We're just smothering children by the dozen. Rumor has it, your son, Gwynnel, has been influenced by his guardian splendor. It said Gwynnel is now considered properly bare. <laughs> Didn't take us long to fuck with the base game, did it? Well, I hope it's a beneficial influence. More like, beneficial. Okay, uh, who's our heir then? You? Uh, so your educator was that Gwynnel? So Gwynnel, I'm going to actually throw at 
someone better to uh, a better educator. So Matilda, for example. Then we'll take you, uh, Catulon, Cat, Cat, whatever, whatever fucking Flash Gordon villain name this kid's got. He is going to be educated by the bear as well. We're going to pick for you. How about some heritage? How about some? So our next, honestly, the next generation of actual, uh, of, of actual education and skills is going to be fairly weak. However, we're going to end up with a shitload of bears. And then after that, the next generation, we can focus on keeping that culture, maybe educating personally, things like that. Um, stressed or break up with another one? I think we'll break up with another one. That one's got diligent. Um, you can go. Goodbye. Move forward. Another 30 gold. Oh, yikes. We are going to constantly be in debt here. And there's another one gone, in theory. Uh, wake her up before anyone catches on and think nothing of it, friend. Was that a wife? What's she doing? The Benedictine Order. Oh, another one gone. <laughs> okay, finally. Oh, did not Narbon. Not what I'm here for. All right, have we got any more Denormandies in our court then? Robert. Just Robert Denormandy. My friend. Plot to kill. Plot to kill. How many more have I got to kill? The fact that we've got away with it. Scott Fruits. Well, this is our last one we've got to kill. Then that one's also. Then it's just a case of conquesting. Fantastic. Viper already on it. Boom. Easy. It's too easy, Paradox. Okay, so what do we need then? Cornwall, Devon, Andrew. We're going to have to go to war with Norway, Norway, Britain at some stage. Andrew, uh, Maine, Morton, Cayenne, Leon, Kernev, uh, all of these places. The majority of them we've already got. I'm not liking the fact that it's making me go into Anjou, though. So we're going to have to take this one. Uh, I'm going to have to try and track down these provinces. Forgive me here. Um, and is it just the Duchy of Anjou wants us to take? What's going on with that, then? Excuse me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Duchy of Anjou. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, it basically is. We've also got to take about the Duchy of Anjou, too. Ooh, so we're going to have to go to war with Norway and France as our final goal. I, th I think Ireland is still the, the right idea to go for. Trumpador and his wife, Tobaritz, have arrived from Arcatania. Their performance range from vulgar satires to poli political servience and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. They'll be well paid, I assure you. Gain charitable, or because we've got kind, we can ask if they know Falcon Lead and gain one intrigue. Ooh. This is a hard choice. The intrigue would... Actually, the intrigue's pointless because we've just finished off our murder spree. I'll take charitable and we will be remembered as a saint. That would be kind of awesome if we could be get this guy beatified. Um, we gain cruel because we're going to beat our child. No, it's fine. Studies you have conducted in your observatory have convinced you that there are many strange things beyond the known cosmos. I'm not using a font mod I normally use, am I? How strange. There are a few sources and no one to share the knowledge with you. However, you have heard of a strange, odd scholar in the Arabian desert. I will go and see him for 12 gold. Luckily, we're just out of debt as well. So that lines up quite nicely. All right. What have you got for me? Um, Temp time of life is made. Should have probably, should have probably uh, not done that in hindsight. Okay. Um, waste my time. Sure. Visit the monastery. And then Necronomicon. 30 more tech points. Lose 100 gold. But we gain the Necronomicon. So that's going to put us into negative monthly piety now. Oh, it's only minus two, not minus four. You giant fool. Oh, wow. Okay, that was very convenient. 66% chance of nothing. 34% chance of getting dirty hands. Uh, no, we're all right. I'll just send her a nice letter. Put him a nice letter and tell him to piss off, to be honest. We're not really interested in just gaining a negative there. Charitable, or we can gain the one intrigue again. Damn, this is this is good. This is good. Oh, I will go with this 25 intrigue there. Now all we need is the immortal event. <clears throat> This is, my friends, Iron Man mode. <laughs> How is this even possible? I have a magic power. I, I have something to confess to you all. I am actually a real wizard. I just simply ask for these things in the game. It does. Get, if, if only we could become immortal, he says. Summon the council. Summon the, bring them to me. Bring the council to me. What in? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, fine. We'll deal with that in a minute. Fuck off. Um, I'm going to put her back to try and get that claim. But, well, I mean, we got the immortal trait. We got a bear son. But, nah. Absolutely no claim on Ireland. No, sir. Your council convenes and the face of your rights to speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? Who's our most skilled counselor? We really should send the intrigue guy. Because we are the highest trained in intrigue. So, that gives us the highest chance of success. I know he himself has quite a low chance of intrigue. Uh, so, fantastic. This is a risky play. This is a risky play with this guy having so so mediocre intrigue. But if he succeeds, the chance of our success is a lot higher relative. So we just gotta hope we just gotta get past this first hurdle, and then it's given us the safest chance to try and get immortal.
That's another bear sun I saw. Huh, that is another bear sun. Fantastic. The Watcher, he sees all. Splendid idea. Um, yikes. Four people. People are voting for the bear sun. The actual legitimate bear sun. To be honest, he might be kind of bad. Um, okay, well, that's two more kids. Educating in bear culture. The issue is... If we give them to another educator, they'll lose the bear... That generally, that there's quite a high chance they will lose the bear culture because they're still on heritage focus. We can wait till they're 12 and then swap to someone else. Oh, there we are. Sorry, Master, but the walls have ears. I dare not come during the day. Somebody is on my track. I can use help throwing them off. 65 gold. Go. Take it. Shall we become a devoted keeper of Elder Secrets, which we get nothing for because we've already got two lifestyle traits? Or shall we get the stewardship and learning? Hard choice. Man, that's, uh, that's a tricky one game. <gasps> You are almost used to your spy master, Yozen, visiting your chambers at the strangest hours, but you still jump when he steps out from the shadows one evening. It wasn't easy, my lord, but I've got something. He says calmly, as if clandestine meetings have become the norm for social interaction. You compose yourself before asking, what? Oh, it's just a mystic called Cleopatra. It's just a mystic called Cleopatra. I think she's legit. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Generally, if they've got less than 15 in the stat, they're not legit, but she's got 20. Um, normally, though, they have something like genius, quick... So this is questionable, but she is also a mystic. Eternal life must be mine. I'm so sorry to do this to you. YouTube comments. I've, I'm so sorry to the people who were like, oh, a normal CK2 series. At long last, this guy's doing one. None of the fantasy bullshit. No more immortal, overpowered characters. Now we've ended up with an immortal man and his bear son. I'm so sorry. And our bear son is concerned that our eternal life warlock <laughs> could not be real. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go and, go and investigate her. What the hell is going on? Oh, that's pretty good. My liege, my work has finally come to fruition. 66.2 gold and 150 prestige. Done. Thank you. Appreciate that one. Matilda's no... Oh my god, I thought that was a bloody mystic then for a second. You're scaring the life out of me, Steve. Epatra explains that you will need to obtain some of the ingredients known as the three primes. I've also, speaking of uh, plus three... That was a loose connection, I'll admit. I've changed over to the intrigue focus very quickly so that we can... Hopefully pass this event a little easier, he says. So what do we want to do? Do we want to pay Cleopatra to train him in the art pickpocketing for 66.2 gold? Or do we want to handle this on our own? Um, I've absolutely no idea. I've never done the intrigue one before. 66, but I mean, I feel like losing some gold would give you a high chance of success. But maybe that's the trial. We're going to go with teach me your tricks, wise woman. Oh, that's not good. The first day of the trial has arrived and you have dressed yourself as a lowly commoner and left your guards behind. It's a strange feeling walking through the crowded market as if you were known as special. I am your king. I swear, get your hands off me. Uh, we got our hand chopped off. We got our hand chopped off because we are the king. Oh, good. That's very... W mangled, that wasn't part of the deal. Hang on, that said severely injured. That said severely injured. It said one-handed. It did not fucking say mangled. I actually just watched that back. We are not supposed to have mangled. That's very annoying. It's very annoying. If the event tooltip said you gain severely injured and one-handed and honest, mangled was not part of the fight. Is there just a small chance every time you get severely injured to just also be mangled? What I'm getting at is King Conan Ironside uh, is most likely dead. That is most likely the end of him. Ironic that he couldn't even save himself. from. Oh, that's not really very ironic, is it? There he goes. But my friends, as one page turns, another page turns, because that's how books work. That was a t fucking horrible metaphor. King Conan has given up the ghost at age 55. He died a mangled mess. He has been mangled in a terrible accident. It wasn't. It was actually intentional. Conan spent his life barely able to walk. Death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. King Alan the Fourth. Being an illegitimate child, Alan will surely set to make his mark on destiny. Long live Alan the Fourth. Alan the Bear. The bastard with no skills, no redeemable features whatsoever, who happened to be a goddamn polar bear. Welcome to a new era of CK2 challenge runs. Let me just double check. All we've got to do then is just get that one. Progress continues for as long as you play this featured ruler's dynasty. Right, okay. So what we got to do then is tick off Ireland, which we did have a claim on. But now we've lost because uh, we fucking died. So, honestly, if we weren't going for an eternal life, I genuinely believe we probably could have fulfilled all of that character's ambitions. That's so frustrating. Okay, let's carry on doing that then. Um, we'll, we'll follow in Father's footsteps and just conquest the rest of it. 
All we've got to do is take a couple of provinces from France, realistically, but we'll go and conquest the rest of Ireland as well to try and build that up. Hopefully, Scotland doesn't get to it before we can. Maybe we should focus on, like, business for the time being. Debase the mints. Also, it probably wouldn't hurt to try and get up our entry skill as well. Oh, God, he's so bad. He's so bad. Shortly after the death of your father, King Conan Ironside, you were bought a strange piece of news. It seems his library was raided. The only item stolen being a strange book of Arabian origin. Two servants who were in the library at the time found dead. The witnesses refused to describe the state of their bodies. A mangled mess from having their hand cut off. Terrible. Terrible. Hang on. We're a bear. Now, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> what a strange thing to say. We are a bear. If I'm not mistaken, if we hit the invite noble to court, Bamsey. It's Bamsey. <laughs> we can get bear commanders. Barney Doll. Welcome. Make him a commander. We can get debutante. Brumelisa Brown. Welcome. Excellent. Oh no. This has quickly gotten out of hand. So many angry comments. That Mr. Stream is supposed to be a historical series. There were no bears. There were no polar bears in the year 1089 in Brittany. How dare you? Birth of the Assassins. That could actually genuinely be a problem. Oh, God. Speaking of problem. Look at this absolute thumb of a woman. She's related to two dukes, though, in the HRE. So, fine. Thumb woman meet bear husband. I suppose he can't really be... A beggars can't be choosing in this situation. 28 gold or take the 200 prestige. I think we will take the prestige in this situation because we have no redeemable skills. So, I'm going to immediately yeet this guy at the Benedictine order and hopefully gain some skill set through that. Business focus can give us greedy. Understandable. We'll lose 50 gold. Oh, fine. Private ceremony. We can't afford it. Never. We'll just, let's just get fucking 50% chance diligent. Do it. Damn it. We needed that. Oh, we needed that. Vassal opinion lowered by 10. Crowned by a bishop. It's better than nothing. Debase the mints. That's what we're after. Redemption immediately. Did sell off land to a burger. I don't care. Oh, God. 50 military tech is gone as well because of the Jewish men that we banished from our court. 57 gold to welcome them back. We made more money from that last time. So overall, that's a that's a long-term... That is that is a long-term uh, profit right there. We could, again, borrow money and then immediately expel them again. Such is fairness in this round. <laughs> My God. Um, okay. What do we build for buildings? Oh, God. Base game CK2 is bad. Really? That's all the buildings are in the base game still? Paradox? Shit. I mean, that's inexcusable. Again, trade routes as well. Inexcusable. Unreal. Brother, I just donated to charity. You want me to do it again? 30% chance of getting charitable, though. We've got greedy, but I, I would... We've got arbitrary? Wait, greedy became arbitrary, and now... That's bad. <laughs> We've gone from bad to slightly worse, I think is uh, fairly inarguable. Um, a South Slavic Orthodox Christian? Who are you? My heir? He's a relative of ours. Who are you? I'm going to educate you myself, even though we're garbage. Otso, commander of Brittany, a random bear woman. We're going to educate him ourselves because uh, he's completely different culture to us now. How it, it's quite difficult to culturally convert provinces unless we want to flip all of our council over to bear people. We have quite a lot already. That's kind of a surprise. Um, wow, look at this. Already three of our commanders are bears. He became a gray eminence. <laughs> now all we've got to do is try to flip him to bear culture. Damn it, we can't do that now, though, unfortunately. Uh, he lost a trait cynical, gained 10 piety. Well, he's actually not bad. At least we know we've got a good fallback air if things go a little shitty. It's bear measles. Oh, no. What terrible news. Is he all right? What have we got? Vomiting, headache? It's the flu. It's the flu. He's all right. Wow, these stats are just fucking phenomenal. These stat he's actually got better stats when he's ill. Please, just, just stay ill, for God's sake. The realm needs it. Benedictine Order is going to be the only thing we've got here to, to redeem us. 100 prestige for 200 gold. To be honest, we've really got nothing to spend the gold on because uh, buildings and base game CK2, garbage. We might as well upgrade something, huh? Um, yikes. I mean, I suppose the burden of choice is removed a little bit there, huh? Okay, let me set all these honorary titles up again because we've got a lot of shit to give out and our vassals don't really dislike us too heavily and it won't really take much to win them over again. A nice feast would definitely do it. Okay, keep that one together. November, we'll have ourselves a nice feast. Um, Summer Fair, it kind of is more for revolt risk, isn't it? So we won't even worry about that one too much. German Barbara. German Barbara, baptized by a Torah. Noble member of... Okay, right. Um, can I, What can I do for you? Court Jester. Hopefully, we'll just have a kid without trying to focus on it too much. Again, we've got Groom and Air, which is more than we need. Oh, Christ. Turns out banishing the Jews from the round can have negative consequences. Who'd have thought it? I traded it for gold. 
to be honest, it was probably worth it in hindsight. Book or hunt? Either is fine. Let's go for... Yeah, there we go. Inspiring Poe. That's, that's not too bad. A little bit of extra diplomacy certainly wouldn't hurt given that was shit. Oh, and we're building a giant tower. Sure. I mean, to be fair, we've kind of got the money to do it. 49 gold down so far. Pretty nice. This might even give us a... Okay, 50 gold down again. Build a quarry. Now, that's going to give us for the next uh, many years, 80 years, minus 20% build cost and minus 25% build time. I'm up for that. Peasants are expendable. No, they are not. Compensate the families for their loss. Wow. I think this is the first time I've ever done the Great Tower event and we were able to pay for the whole bloody thing up front without going into massive amounts of debt. I'm actually genuinely quite impressed by that. Holy shit. Wants us to do penance now? Was it do penance? Yeah, do penance. All right, fair enough. God should be my companion. God will be my companion. We are a very humble man doing penance for our sins as we build the greatest tower of the realm. What should we talk about? Martial learning stewardship. Um, uh, diplomacy, preferably. There we are. Very nice. Okay. Um, cut some light off the tower or go back to your old scriptures. Get the hell out of here. Still don't give that should be enough. 65% chance of dealing with the vice. Okay, go for it. Make some progress doing penance. Good, good start. Oh, look at that. What a turnaround. Already we're an architect. Architect and poet overnight. What a guy. So that gives us more, even more great work. Oh, that's great work, Bill Costa Mill time. That's going to be fucking irrelevant. <laughs> what the hell is the point of that? Regular build cost, build time would make a lot more sense. Like, great work, build time, build cost, great. So we can build like a quarter of it before this guy dies and it'll save us all of about 500 gold, which sounds like a lot. Actually, that's my add up. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, court chaplain, welcome. Oh, my vassals have stopped liking me again. Why? What have I, what have I done wrong? Please, tell me. How do I, how, how can I, offended? Oh, no. Is this because I did a crowning badly? So that's the Duchy of Brittany, mine. He's envious as well. That's his problem. Offended. Discouraged from factionalism. And decides to... They all want the Duchy of Brittany. Maybe I should... Oh, we've got two duchies, to be fair. Maybe I should give one of these out. Oh, that was like four provinces, though. Blech. Um, I mean, Upper Brittany is our realm. I'd like to kill some of these guys off. We don't have much of our own domain here. Maybe actual Brittany would be a better one for our capital. Although, saying that, I mean, we've got a... I mean, Nantes is a 4-5 holding province, and so is our capital. Is that Ren? Who say that? Ren? I have no idea. Um, I would like to take your realm. There is a lot of them. Wow, that's going to take a long time to get through them. 10? I mean, we could go into... We could just go full North Korea mode. It's unnecessary, to be honest. We don't really need to piss them off that much, I guess. Look, time will, time will be on our side here. No shame in asking for help. He is the ignorant one. Couldn't help us there. We'll pick up some good traits as we go through the society anyway. We'll be fine. More mints to the base. Give me deceitful. Okay, we got greedy. That's probably not too ideal given that we're doing penance. How have we only got arbitrary is minus two, stress is minus one, amateurish plotter also gives minus one. This character was terrible. Was it worth it for the bear mean? Absolutely not. Oh, our wife is a duke and we are matrilineally ma We're not matrilineally married. Is it primo? Absolute cognitive collective. Right, we can't get it anyway. Oh, that's annoying. Um... Form an alliance with her. Hang on, how many troops she got? 1,600. Form an alliance with her then. Obviously, we'll do that. And then if we go to war against Ireland, if we ever get any more bloody claims, then we can call her in and it's basically a... a, a it's going to be a complete wash. We're going to annihilate them. He's so good. He's so fucking good. He's so good. We've got Carpenter's Guild. We've got the Grand Tower. We're also overseeing construction here. Um, What do we want to build in a single day? Give me some... Uh... Give some militia training ground, I guess. Just go for the raw troop count here. That's all right. And then <laughs> raw troop count because we're a fucking bear. I'm kind of... He's too... Uh, he's, he's ascended. Ascended. Beyond. Uh, it's a shame about the whole immortality thing going to shit. Right. You're doomed. You're doomed. This is going to allow us to expand quite nicely. Norwegian revolt. Hello. Oh, and England split off. What the hell happened there? Wessex. Oh, my God. England took it back. History. Installed by faction demand. So Norway's been ousted. England split off and been weakened more than ever now. Normandy is under Norway, which is highly confusing. Under Aster Grip. Um, okay, this is interesting. This has set up a weird political map. If they succeed, Cornwall and Devon, which are two provinces we need for the gold, come back under control of Normandy, basically, which is obviously splintered away. Then we go to war with them, call in our wife and her troops. We can kind of match them. What? what? Well, no. <laughs> no! Oh, my God, he was a family member. Fuck, what? My uncle? Oh, God. Son of the devil. 
Well, our vassals actually, weirdly enough, like us more than they did five minutes ago, so I guess I'm only doing a good thing here. Um, 45% chance of getting paranoid. Well, seeing as we are the son of the devil, that would be kind of appropriate. Oh, yikes. God has shown me the light. Yeah, it's the light of my bloody uncle as he's on the pyre. I didn't realize it was our uncle, because look, we've got the bastard symbol. It blends in with the background. That's not my fault, okay? Not my fault at all. Definitely not. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I get... Oh, let rank up, rank up, rank up. Give me something. Diligent, patient. Come on, something. My privilege. Oblatus. And... Thank you. Pope, praise be. We're free. Familiar Gunslayer, absolved. I am trying to uh, sway this guy, but it's taken some time. What's his son like? We should start swaying his son instead. God, every all the characters in the base game are so bad, aren't they? My God. I'm going to move our Chancellor then with his 20 Diplomacy back to perform Statecraft because we've got the claim that we need. Declare war, claim it. Council say no. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong with you? No glory in this war. Yeah, but we need that, you fool. Um... We could, I mean, we could buy a favor from him, I guess. That doesn't seem, oh, 235 gold. No, we definitely can't buy a favor from him. We sent him a gift at some stage. Maybe this is the guy we should be swaying then, seeing as he's the one that holds all the power in the council right now. I might divorce her. <laughs> no, apparently not. Minus 50, oh, minus 47. Only because, uh, no children still. They've been married a good few years now. I'll give him a little bit, oh, oh, fine. Yeah, day is fault, whatever. We'll get the crusader trait. Gain zealous. That's what we're after. Okay. Become the Christian man of everyone's dreams. Fulfill my duties as expected. Speaking of which, oh, here we go. We're, we're deep in the Benedictine order right now. Um, recipient, me. I am my recipient. Why would I give my titles away? Uh, we should still choose a beneficiary, though. I guess we'll give it to our bear brother. Oh, my God. We could set up Jerusalem as a bear kingdom. To be fair, almost all the money I've... All the money I've taken from debasing the mints... I've basically given straight back to the Benedictine Order. I'm not saying that we're the Robin Hood of the bear-cultured Brittany right now, but we're doing a pretty damn good job of being a nice guy. We're a roundabout way. It's just the game doesn't recognize that, you know, but we're doing some things that I think are... Oh, no. It's another bear. It's another bear. Safe peasant is a productive peasant. 6.2 gold. Fine. We're also making quite a pretty penny as well, saying that all we've got is kind of a relatively small kingdom here. Go. Double focus. No, come on. Come on, just give me some give me some points here. Give me diligent, give me give me patient, give me kind, charitable. Any of those would be good to win over our vassals a little bit. Humble. Humble is actually one of the few I didn't ask for. So I pretty <laughs> great, thank you. Uh is it vassal opinion at all? Same trait opinion. That's that's just goddamn terrible. Um so it's this guy that's being an ass, and I've kind of screwed him there. Uh what's the council minus 40? Have you got anything to offer the council? Kind of. He's actually got pretty good stewardship. Fine. All right, uh, where is he? Actually, where is he? Wait, what? Uh, excuse me? Uh, rank? There he is. Oh, I was looking at the wrong guy. Oh, fi fucking fine. We'll make him a spy master. Probably get me killed, though. Uh, send him a gift. It's 43 gold for 34 opinion. Puts him in the positive. Now can I invade Ireland? Yes, we can. Good. Claim? He's let me do it. He's got, 100, he's got 805 men. We've got this in the bag. I haven't even bothered to check our levies or our troops, but I'm pretty sure we can pull it off. Wife, join me. Speaking of not pulling it off, his bloody wife starting to give us a damn son. Right, give me some levies. Oh, that's a lot of boats for this tiny little small area. Can we raid? She will answer our obligation to war. Thank you. Can we raid as a bear? Apparently not. We're still beholden to Christian. They seriously sent guys over to us. That's brave. Fine. Bear in mind, as a bear, we do get morale of armies increased by 15% as well. This is a flat county modifier. So, let's pretend that this was some incredibly sensible play because the challenge is about expanding your domain. Obviously, I did this intentionally. Obviously, this was an intentional bear play to make it so that... To, make, to give us the biggest advantage possible here. And we're Deus Faulting. That was... Uh, let's deal with Ireland first. Then we'll go and Deus Fault over in Jerusalem. Get ourselves the Crusader trait. Then everybody's happy. You know, Crusader gives us some nice opinion. And we're going on an expedition too. Holy shit. Um, hire a crew of bandits because I'd like to keep some money alongside. We don't have any skills. So I'm going to say, fuck the priests. Don't bring them along. The bandits failed. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> don't know what I expected. I'll be on. Without decisive battles, this game, terrible. Okay, it's obviously not terrible. But it's the battles take so goddamn long. 2,000 men versus 100. And still they just run off. Oh my god, she's doing all the work for us. I'm not going to be emasculated by my thumb of a wife. Get out of here. Bear, you're going to hurt Bear Man's feelings. Right. This is ours now. Thank you. Much appreciated. This is mine. Much appreciated. More land in Ireland for me. Right. Can we... I, I guess we need to kind of go for du jour claims now. So what's the du jour? Moo Moo. <laughs> Definitely how you pronounce that. Oh, but there's already a bloody duke here. Um, 
fabricate some claims. We can still border dispute that. You're allowed to do an Iron Man without, uh, without you know, affecting the rules to the extent you're no longer allowed Iron Man or achievements or anything like that. So we can still border dispute with those Jade Dragon casters, Belli. But they are so incredibly, sort of prohibitively expensive. It's probably better just to rely on the friggin' uh, support the campers. Yeah, that's fine. Probably better to, to just rely on the regular stuff. Oh, we need to lead our troops, don't we? Shit, my bad. Uh, with our six marshal. Yeah, absolutely. Get us in there, chief. There we are. Day is full. And then immediately teleports away. Told you we were a wizard. Pff, Kingdom of Brittany, we got here first. We got here first. Give me that war score, boy. I would love a bear Jerusalem, but we've only got 1,800 men to try and do it with. My wife, Barbara, is pregnant. More like bear, bro. <laughs> All right. Burn the apostate. Let's get to the important sites first. Get to Hebron. We got there first as well. Oh, my God. War score? Shit. 1%. Okay. We're not going to be able to compete. Let's be reasonable. Wait, fuck it. I'm taking my troops out here. Fuck you guys. We got the Crusader trait. That's all I really care about. <gasps> I am visiting the monastery in which my order is convened at this time. I join my fellow lay members in dutifully performing all tasks required before us. Just the chance of getting ambitious alone is fantastic. We can also steal the holy preppers. The holy preppers, which is a slice of Christ himself. Should be mine, 50%. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. You... Ah! Okay. He's missed out on literally every single... Diligent? Nah, doesn't need it. Uh, vent? Doesn't need it. Bribe the abbot. No, nope, grab it and run. You caught me, I submit to the judgment. Leave no witnesses. Escape. Attempt to murder. We seem evenly matched. Kill him. <laughs> wow. And that, my friends, is the story of King Alan the <laughs> Fourth. Yes, I am a good Christian godly man. I'll go out there sporting. And then he strangles an abbot to death so he can steal Jesus' foreskin. Unbelievable. Oh, except got strangled to death. Imagine that abbot, though. Strangled a fucking bear to death. Watch out for this guy. Wyman Fitzelspeth. He deserves to be beatified. Slayer of the devil bear. Oh, perfectly normal man. Sorry, my, my bad. Now we're playing as a black orthodox man. Um, who's actually a good character. So really, I can't complain too much. Rulership. Rulership. I would like to convert to local culture. We need 500 prestige and local religion. We would also need 500 prestige. Oh, no. If we get crowned, we can't get crowned because we're not... Oh, shit. Again, 50 prestige. Welcome. And then we can expel them for lo and lose 100 prestige. Bring them back. Bring them back. I need some early prestige. Oh, God. This is horrible. We could we could marry someone and then just convert to their... Is there a bear wife? The bear, bear, bear. Whoa, hang on. We're still on the bear game. Also... Everyone's concerned. Gain the prestige. Boom. Very nice. No, I want to convert to her culture. Shit. Um, Secretly convert to Catholic. What do we need? 250 piety. So piety or prestige, whichever comes sooner. We're obviously going to go for that. I'm really hoping we can convert before the... Coming to hiding. Oh my god, we're already starting to be assassinated? Shit. Really? Stop it. Oh, he's very good. Uh, Maybe we should just let him kill us. He's also a bear. Kill me. Kill me. Do it. Oh, I could use the... No, 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 no. Absolute cognatic gavel kind. What are you talking about? That was not... That was Tanistry, sir. I actually want him to succeed us, though. This guy. <laughs> what I was gonna say... This guy's also a baron. He's got strong and shrewd and grey eminence. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is a very scummy tactic. We're gonna... Try and imprison this guy. Fail. Immediately surrender to him. Get deposed. Play as... The strong, shrewd, grey eminence bear. We're going to go for a character flip. Thank God they haven't patched that, huh? Uh, we're then going to go for rulership because we will have accrued uh, opinion of predecessor malices from doing that. So I need to make sure people love us. Is he still married to Otso? That's annoying. I would, li I would like her. Can you die? Because I would like to marry the bear lady instead. Fine. There's got to be another bear lady in our court we can marry. Uh, range marriage us to a bear. We don't need to. Bear in mind, we're a bear. So the kids are going to be born of our culture anyway. But they're not going to look like a bear. Which, I don't know why I'm going for that. Let's just marry a genius one. Fucking hell. Let's go classic CK2. Look, there's... They'll look... They'll be bear culture even if they're not physically a bear. Okay? So it's not a, a massive deal. That, that's assuming there even is some unmarried women that we can potentially marry here. In prison, any? No. Uh, that's fine. Married? No. Deploy range? Yes. Okay. There is an 18-year-old woman who, with genius we can marry. Fine. Beatrice D'Souza, bring her to my court. We'll marry her. We've got strong. We could be looking at strong genius bear son. 
Even though he's not bearing appearance, he's bearing culture. And that's really all that matters, right? Marry her to us. Boom. Take the prestige. Well, they won. Well, we have absolutely nothing to show for it. Well, that's okay. Whatever. Um, right, set that as our crown focus. What important decision? So we got a coronation, but we can't afford it at all. Fine, let's see what he wants. We might have to turn him down and obviously come back to it in a few more months. He wants 250 gold. Sure. I'd rather do that and just get it out the way. Uh, dignified ceremony for another 100 gold. It's very expensive, but don't... I mean, just just don't panic, basically. It'll, it'll be done in no time whatsoever. Get her collecting taxes. Look, she's got that 52.5% 50, tax modifier plus another 16% chance yearly. Six years on average, she'll, she'll get that tithe. It won't be massive, but in that time, we'll be paid off anyway. Um, learning or intrigue. That's always a, a very easy option, I think. Thank you. Pope's very happy. Gratified with the great month of festivity I've uh, organized. Very good. 40 piety as well. Burn the apostate. I would never burn him. Bamsi. You want me to burn Bamsi? How dare you? And crowned by the Pope for that little bit of extra vassal opinion too. Should keep the realm happy. We've only got four vassals now. We did have to sacrifice one of our duchies to pull off that little uh, character flip. Although the realm is in fairly decent hands, I'd say. Um, is there anything I do to her? I might even start swaying her. I was swaying our wife to try and make her like us, but she's already, already very deeply impressed with what we've got to offer. We failed again, but I'm still going to grab this fucking artifact. Grab it and run. Boom. Come on. I will fist fight another abbot. Chance of winning are good. I will fist fight this abbot. Minus 14. Kill him. Nice. Seamless robes of Jesus. <gasps> Ooh, that was worth it. That was worth strangling that man to death for. National text plus 10%. Same religion opinion plus 5. That's fucking gigantic. That's so, so good. And more importantly, because we strangled him to death. We're still allowed to stay part of the Benedictine Order. Thank you all for watching. I got a little bit carried away for today. So let's leave that one there. Holy shit, I've been playing this for so long now. My God, I didn't even notice. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big shout out goes out to Facundo Vasquez, Caden Carter, Tyler McClam, Jonah Waters, William Green, Derek, Harry McGowan, Booty Getter, Ben Hofflin, Monkey, Alchemia, Shay, Necrophilin, Atmosis, and everyone else over at Patreon as well. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all for your support in making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well goes out to Don, Zulu, Dion, Kevin Saunders, Yorkus, Spirilli. Wow, almost fucked that one up too. M2 Machine, Monty, Gaz, Icy the Great, Shardul, my name isn't Dio, Don Connie 217, Cody Cope, Emerald Beam, and everyone else over on Patreon as well. Big thanks to you guys. Thank you all for making the channel possible in the first place. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the additional adventures of the weird. Bethany series that this has become.